Hey. Hey, what's up? I'm Martin, just studying for history. It's so boring. Not really. What are you learning? Um, the Industrial Revolution. I gotta search up a topic to study about, but I can't find anything on this. Mm. Um, you got a text. You know, you should do it on the telephone. I should. Yeah, actually, it's right here. But, um, actually I saw a video online that's a lot better than looking at this stupid see. book. When we think of the Industrial Revolution, we think of all the important inventions that were created and helped modify how we grow and communicate around the world. One of the major inventions created that had a huge impact on humans was the telephone. Through the telephone, we have the opportunity to talk to somebody as we would if they were with us personally. It has facilitated daily tasks and improved relationships worldwide. When we think of the telephone, we never consider how it was made and how this idea was sparked. It all started in the 1870s when Alicia Gray and Alexander Graham Bell created variated versions of the telephone. After racing to the patent office to get the invention patented, Alexander Graham Bell succeeded. A famous legal battle still followed, but in the end, Alexander Graham Bell won the case and kept the patent. If we go further back, we can understand how and why it was created. The telegraph was a very significant invention that after 30 years of use became a very popular way of communication. But limitations were put upon it because it was in Morse code and one could only send and receive messages one message at a time. At this time, Bell was trying to improve the telegraph when he invented the telephone. He was knowledgeable with how sound functioned and figured that he could get several pitches sent at the same time on a wire. Thomas Watson and Bell were funded to improve the telegraph, but they continued their work on the telephone as well. On June 2, 1875, Bell heard a sound over a wire, and that marked the birth of the telephone. His famous first words were, Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. The first telephone line was created in 1877 from Boston to Massachusetts. By the end of 1880, there were 47,900 telephones in the United States. In 1915, the transcontinental service by overhead wire was inaugurated. Afterwards, everything began to rapidly improve. In 1878, the first Bell Telephone Company started. In 1889, the first coin-operated payphones were patented by William Gray. In 1941, a touch-tone system was created. It consisted of numbers instead of a dial. And in 1947, cell phone technology began. And now, our era is the founder of what we know as smartphones, such as iPhones or Androids. The phones consist of a camera, music player, web connection, and so much more. This generation was born into advanced technology, so we don't understand the importance of what we have today because we never had to once live without it. Have you ever thought how your life would be if you were born in a different time period? Or if our society didn't advance at all? Think about it. Right now, I will show you three scenarios in which if communication were involved, preferably using a telephone, it would have changed and better the outcome of the situation. This is Sally. Sally is a hyperactive girl who loves to do homework, but is very forgetful. She got home from school and realized that she forgot to write down the day's homework. So now she must walk to her friend's house to ask for it. 10 miles away. What was the homework? Page 120, 1 through 10. Oh, okay. And she walked all the way home. This is Julieta and Frank. Frank needs to go to Russia to support his family, but is having a hard time saying goodbye to Julieta. He knows that without communication, they will never see each other again. The Maddy, a wealthy man. We are not. There is no wealthy man. I must go now. I must be dear to Julieta. 
Let's go to Russia, but we will never see each other again. My hour has come. I must be dear too. And he left. Our final scenario leads us to this pedophile. He took an interest in a girl walking in the distance. He finally decides to kidnap her, and with no communication, her odds are not in her favor. Yep, she's a goner. As you can see from a range of simple to complicated, communication can change the outcome of an event most likely for the better. In conclusion, the telephone was a significant invention that changed the world. The end. Wow, that was interesting. I never knew how the telephone was invented. Yeah. All right, now let's review. Okay, first question. What was the name of the inventor of the telephone? Uh... Is it A, Alicia Gray, B, Thomas Watson, C. Alexander Graham Bell or D. President Lincoln? Pause now to discuss answers. Is it C. Alexander Graham Bell? Correct. Next question. What was the major invention used for communication before the telephone? Uh, was it A. Telegraph, B. Steam engine, C. iPhone or D. Typewriter? Pause now to discuss answers. A. Telegraph? Correct. Next question. What was the famous first words that Alexander Graham Bell said over the telephone? Is it A. This will change the world. B. Watson, it worked. C. The telegraph got nothing on this. Or D. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Pause now to discuss answers. Is it D. Mr. Watson, come here. I want to see you. Correct. Next question. The first telephone line went from where to where? Uh, mm. Is it A. California to Oregon, B. Maine to New York, C. Boston to Massachusetts, or D. Florida to Mississippi? Pause now to discuss answers. Is it California to Oregon? Um, no, no it's not. It was C. Boston to Massachusetts. Oh well, try to get the last one. And now the final question. What was the year in which cell phone technology commenced? Um, was it A, 1912, B, 1947, C, 1870, or D, 1900s? Pause now to discuss answers. B, 1947? Correct. You got them all right. Yeah, almost. 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 Um, I play some music on my smartphone, which thanks to Alexander Graham Bell, I have. 